you want to say a few words on what they said? Well, apparently, to go past that point, yeah. you have to empty your pockets out. And I, I did that. I got around to doing that. I emptied my pockets out. And they said, right, now we've got to search you. Then he had this like one thing. I thought, that's all right. And then this little squirt, and don't forget, this is someone who works for a private company, right? A private corporation, he's not a police or anything. He asked me to stand there and spread my legs. He says, do that, please. So I frisked him. <laughs> oh, brilliant, 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 love it, love it. So basically, they've told you, it says up there, do you remember what I've got on my right? Okay, but they've taken away your rights, have they not, to yeah. just do what you want? But anyway, so you got this guy. <laughs> He said, right, he said, I'm, I'm going to search you now. <laughs> so he stands like that to show me what he wanted. So I just went down like that. Have his legs up. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. I, I, couldn't resist, I just couldn't resist. Mate, that is genius, genius. Just couldn't resist it. Anyway, and then, of course, straight away, three cotters, good grab your body arms, out you go. Oh, the man handled you? Oh, yeah. That's assault? Well, they said I was threatening that other guy. I wasn't. I, I was going to do to him, I did to him, without his consent, what he was going to do to me without my consent. So it's one law for them and it's another law for me. And that's where we're at, isn't it? And that's where we're at, yeah. That, I mean, we've been filming that all the while. Yeah. We've been filming the whole thing. Um, and we're of the opinion that it's police state. Well, it is. It and is. again, this is like Nazi Germany. Yeah. yeah. It was a drip, 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 and nobody noticed. And then one day, wow, this is where we're at. And this is this is what we have today. Yeah. Yeah. And it's horrendous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, everywhere you go, you've got to be searched, tags, monitored. Yeah. yeah. And well, there are four, four million CCTV cameras in this country. Yeah, that's one for every 15 people, right? But only 1% of crime gets used using those. That's ridiculous, is it not? The CTV cameras have never prevented crimes. I've seen this in my own area. I've seen it in effect, where the police are target driven. They can see something is brewing. They can see there's going to be a ruckus. They can see something is going to happen, which needs an intervention. But they sit there and wait. And when it's all over, they go in and arrest people. Yeah. Hey, yeah. more brownie points. Another one. Another one. Yeah. Yeah. You know. They're not interested in prime, prime prevention. No. And this is obvious because as the police get privatised and the, the prisons get privatised, right? you have a privatised prison, the bottom line for any private corporation is profit. You ain't going to make a profit out of a prison unless you keep getting the prisoners in. Right. Of course, yeah. There's not going to be no crime prevention no. because if you have crime prevention, you ain't going to get the prisoners. And it's the same across the board, where it's the health service, you cannot make a profit out of healthy people. No. It, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's so damn obvious and people are not seeing it. You know? uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm of the opinion that they run, they have to run, they seem to think they have to run everything for profit. Yet some organisations like the NHS, like prisons, can't make profit.